<laughs> Who's up next? I'm taking it. Not Whoa. you. Okay. When it all started, they were called UFOs. Mm -hmm. Unidentified flying objects. Come on now, break it down. Then they started calling them UAP, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Okay. okay. But this one is just what the f this could be. Check this clip out. Whoa. Ooh, We're gonna zoom in. Okay. What the f is that? It's a lasso of truth. <laughs> okay. It's like flying rope light. What do you think that is? That birth control. Fly yeah, IUD. there's a flying IUD flying over IUD. like Colorado. <laughs> I think there's an IUD out here. <laughs> Man, listen, I know I tend to know everything. Okay. I'm, I'm listening. That's all oh, I got. That's it. Yeah, yeah, okay, pretty much. So that was wait. a period, not that's a comma. Why it's got you. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> why it's called an unidentified. Okay. Ooh. Let's actually talk with the guy that filmed it. Great plan. I have Jim Martin on the line from San Diego. Yeah. It's Jim, oh, big what's Jim. going on? Jim, oh. he's back. Hey, great to see you guys. Thank you for having me back. What were you doing when you shot this? Like, what were you actually shooting for? I was just working out of my house. And as you guys know, I, I use my mind to contact UFOs. And this particular day, I was just taking a break from work, walked outside and saw this huge snake-like object. That's like an Uber XL. <laughs> exactly, that's an XL. So were you manifesting that before you went outside? Like, were you trying to call for something before you went out there and got that? You know, not on this particular day. The weeks prior to that, though, I'd been doing a lot of the protocols and a lot of filming of UFOs. So my house is just a high window of activity, and I think this was just the culmination point of all these sightings. Have you ever seen anything like that before or since? You know, I never have. I've never seen an object like this before. To me, it looks like kind of a sky serpent or what the uh, they call in Mexico a bonnie, which is a sky snake, actually. Mm -hmm. Were you filming this in, like, infrared? The coloring seems off. Exactly, yeah. This was shot in infrared during the daylight, and I use yes. infrared recording devices for all of my daytime captures. And could you see it with the naked eye as well? You could, just hovering still in the air, and it looked like just a big mm. blob of light to the naked eye. Mm. So it just hung there. <laughs> <laughs> For four dudes sitting here, it looks awfully familiar. <laughs> A lot of people said that. Yeah, exactly. Another really interesting aspect of this capture is if you look at it closely, it's a shape-shifting UFO, and it's actually repeating its pattern. If you look closely, there's a pattern that's repeating throughout the entire recording. But this shape seems to be its face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a strange sighting. It's very unusual, right? Nothing like uh, I've seen normally. I really think we should get another expert opinion on this. I'm getting a friend of ours on, Mark O'Connell. Mark, how you doing? Good, how are you guys? Excellent. Have you seen any phenomena like this anywhere else? I've not seen it myself, but I've heard descriptions that sound a lot like this. This thing seems to have a presence, right? A physical presence. And yet, it seems like it's not there. Right. Yeah. I knew a UFO witness who told me the thing he was looking at looked like it was in front of him. And at the exact same time, it looked like it was in outer space, too. I mean, how do you explain that? That's what we're looking at here. What is the strangest UFO slash UAP that you've ever seen or documented? Well, documented, I would say the one I just described that looked like it was on Earth and in space at the same time. For me personally, what I've seen, I once saw a weird silver shape. I was driving through the Nevada desert past this plateau in this silver thing kind of drifts out from behind the plateau and starts moving alongside the interstate with me, mm -hmm. but way up in the sky at the same time. And as soon as I started taking notice of it and wondering what it was, it, of course, it stopped, went into reverse, and just slid right back behind the plateau, so I never saw it again. Oh, that's weird. Hey, do you guys think that it could be like some future sky writing or, you know, sky drawing? I love that. Like, what if it's some sort of alien artwork? Maybe that's how aliens doodle. Are you saying that they're selling Earth as an NFT right now as we speak? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I think it is somewhere between, you know, flying saucers and possibly even a, a biological life form that is yet to be discovered. Creatures that live in our upper atmosphere that may have some kind of plasma-based uh, structure. I think you're onto something. Maybe that glowing thing in the video, maybe that's the life form itself. Wow. 
Our guy Jim here, he practices uh, UFO calling. So what do you feel about people that do that type of work? I support it. I've never done it myself. I don't know if it would work for me because yeah. I have a hard time getting, you know, psychic things to happen to me. But, but you know, there's a huge school of thought in UFO research that says that it's a, a psychic phenomenon in addition to being a physical phenomenon. Mm. And so I think Jim's approach makes total sense. If there's some intelligence that's trying to reach us psychically, then why wouldn't we try to reach it psychically back? Right. So Jim, uh, you know, keep at it. I say more power to you. That's dope, that's dope. How does that make you feel, Jim? Getting that extra oh. level of confirmation. Oh, I really appreciate that confirmation. Thank you for that generous feedback. And I agree. Um, I think that it is uh, something, it's an enigma, the UFO phenomenon. Hmm. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. And Jim, keep calling those UFOs and we're gonna keep reviewing them. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Man, that means I get to have a boo by my side. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and say we're gonna wait on that. Yeah. You think so? We were just talking about it yeah. just telepathically. Yeah. And we were like, mm. <laughs> a little yeah. premature. Yeah. Well,